Greens and sausage and a cup of tea. And uh, Mark's just had pasta, chicken. chicken tomato pasta. Chicken and tomato pasta. And it was delicious. Yeah. But after a long high cake. Aye. <laughs> Topped right. in salt would taste good. <laughs> yeah, I'll turn mine off. Aye, just let it simmer away. Let's go and let get a minute or two and that'll be it. Yeah. Things you've got to do to <laughs> keep your batteries warm. <laughs> well, I'd like to wish uh, Ossie from America uh, all the best for his operation. He's going for an operation uh, uh, in April. So, on behalf of everybody in uh, the UK outdoor community, I wish you all the best. All the best. What was his name? Aussie. Aussie. All the best, Aussie. Very nice. Very nice. So needed. Yeah, so here I am. I can still hear my family laughing and just basking in the joy of being together. Glad to be here. My granddaughter and son will be here on Monday tomorrow. And uh, she's 10, going to be 11 in December. She loves to fish. <laughs> and for me to get to spend some time with her here is just, yeah. Nothing, no place on earth I'd rather be. So I'm just out for a stroll. Been walking, walking this shoreline and these beaches since I was seven years old. I just watched uh, three deer on the far shore come out in that morning light shining on them, walking along the edge. Robin. Been seeing bald eagles too. Turkey vultures. I'm out looking for tracks in the mud. There was a choke cherry bush and some juneberry brushes and um, all freshly crashed and broken limbs just since we got here on Friday afternoon. So we know we are got our black bear company here but woodpeckers so I'm just out seeing if there's any tracks in the mud yeah nice way to start the day Right, folks, there's Mark. Yep, What's your chat? Good, good morning. 
What's your channel called? Cause you out in the wild, Mark McFarlane. Out Cause in it the used wild. to be Frank, didn't it? it? Was Frank outdoors? Yeah, uh, Frank I outdoors. It. And then you yeah. changed your name to Mark. Yeah, I just put my real name down. <laughs> out in the wild. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Yeah. So if you're not subscribed to me, please. <laughs> We're in Glendall. Beautiful uh, up here. Yeah. Forecast tomorrow is for heavy snow. Everyone's saying it, so we're expecting it. Demanding it. Yeah, you can see the snow line now, eh? Yeah. It's a bit high up just now, but it'll drop as the night goes on. Yeah. I'm, I'm hiding in my tent because it's a bit wet and I'm going to... Ah, a wee wind's picked up. Yeah. Well, I was supposed to get up to 60. Yeah. And the summit, 60 miles an hour. So... Is that the summit up there? Aye, straight up with Glen and up, aye, up that way, yeah. The plateau. Seven forty AM. Uh, it snowed a, a, a wee bit, but no, what I was hoping for, or expecting. But uh, <coughs> never mind. Uh, if it stays less, it's okay. You know, just don't. We don't want the rain again. You know, if it snows, good. If it's sunny, good. But rain, no. So, just up, well I woke up about an hour ago, but just had a, you know, it's comfortable in my bag. So I just made a cup of tea. Uh, I'm not going to eat anything this morning, I'm not hungry. I've switched over to the Sony action cam. It's a... Uh, 4K, 24 frames, or 24p. Uh, I'm going to downsize it to 1080. Anyway, right, I've got my C mark. I'm going to head to the. I'm going to head back to the car park for about half an hour. Plenty of time. <laughs> A wee test of the optical stabilisation at 4K. Because it's an optical, it doesn't 
doesn't make any difference if it's 4K. As I was saying, a lot of the camera systems, uh, stabilisation doesn't work at 4K. Or some of the cameras that I, I've seen, I don't know why. You know, seems a bit strange that they don't, they don't work it. They don't work at 4K, only 1080p. That path, that's the way we're heading back to the car park. And then I think we've, we've settled in a uh, quarry fee. I don't think if we had done another day, if it was a if it was a three or four day trip, we could go to quarry fee and then head up to Jocks Road and go up in the plateau. But we can that just be quarry fee in a, a low level camp. Right, it's about quarter to twelve, and we're setting off to quarry fee. That's a cold wind. Yeah. Sunshine and snow yeah. showers we're getting. Yeah, I meant to get heavy snow all day, yeah. And right. It's not happened, the heavy snow's not happened anyway, it didn't at this yeah. level. Don't know what it's like the plateau. We're not gonna manage the plateau. Beautiful that this area then. Yeah. Leave no trace. There you go. Leave no trace. We're nearly there, nearly there. Great stuff, love it. <laughs> having a wee sit down, Mark's having a wee smoke break. I'm just looking at a bit that looks a possible bit. Camp. That bit on the right hand side of the river. Almost there. And uh, it's brightening up. There you go. Sun shines on the righteous. There you go, Pete. Mad dog bushcraft. There you go, mate. Take that one home for a memento. Corry fee. Up that way. We're not going to camp at Corry Fee, it's a nature reserve, plus it's a, it's a tad windy, so we're going to camp somewhere else. 
just having a wee explore in here, see if we can find any half decent bit of ground for two tents. Mark spotted a bit down there. So we'll investigate, as I like to say, we'll investigate that area. It's up to mischief. I'll call the police. That's what happens when you go to a, a bit that looks good for a wee bit away. It ends up a bit of a bog. Marks the way up that way, so we might have to cross the cross the river. I think that's might be a decent bit. Mark trying this. It was very slippy, but it's doable. Watch. Careful. Oh, oh, we're now in that way. I don't want to be high up, going down to a rock. Watch. Uh oh. Ah, it's slippy, that one. Uh oh. Oh. Fuck. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Just straight across. Ah, it's just a bit deep. You just need to take a leap of faith. Just get one foot in the water. And that's it. There you go. There we are. I think we should go back. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it. Done it. Right, folks, we found a pitch. We've actually been up. It's up there a wee bit. Uh, we were going to camp down this level beside the river, and Mark said, that looks. Let's have a look up there. And we made the right choice, you know, going up and looking. So I'll show you some footage of where we're pitched in a minute. So it's no it's been snowing very light for like five minutes, ten minutes and then then stopping. So this big snowfall I was expecting. It's never it's never happened yet. I, just, I hope it doesn't happen tomorrow when we're trying to get out. I need to get I need to get a train back to Glasgow to Perth. Get back to work Wednesday night. Great stuff. Nice warm cup of tea. And the great outdoors. You can't even work it. Simple pleasures.
Here's Mark getting a photo of the ridge. But I hope we don't end up like uh, this previous camper. There. There's a bit of his jaw there. There's his bones which left him, so I hope we don't share the same fate. Yeah, obviously it's a, it's a deer. We we'll try and get a wee fire going. Just decided to go a wee walk. Because it is early, so we've got a lot of hours to use up before it gets to, you know, night time. We'll, so we'll try and get a fire going. So we hike to warm us up. Came from. And we can go that way or that way. I think we'll, Mark will probably turn back and we'll head down that way. But we'll see. This is what I like. This is the type of sort of wee exploring I like. You know, it's off the beaten track. <laughs> There'll not be many people hiking at the, hiking this area, you know. There are very few. It's certainly no a thing for the tourists. like a war zone for trees. We might use the fire for his uh, dinner. I'm just going to use the. Uh, I'm cheating. I'm going to use the the wind burner to boil my food up. Morning. Twenty to eight, seven forty a.m. Wednesday. Uh, can't remember the date. So that's uh, we'll just be getting packed up soon. You know, just slowly get packed. Try and leave for nine a.m. Back at nine. <coughs> that's been a good trip. Yeah, didn't get to the plateau. And uh, there wasn't much snow, 
a wee bit of snow, threat of snow, but I was sort of expecting, well, going with the forecast, I was expecting this to be maybe a snow camp, but it never happened. But it was a good trip. Enjoyed it, as always. So, that's my first time out with Mark. I mean, I've been out with Mark as part of the bushcraft group, but that's the first time out with Mark, so that was good. Good, really good. We're going well, so uh, we'll we'll do it again. Hopefully, in a couple of months, we might come back here and go up, uh, get up to the plateau. Don't know, but we'll be back out again, and maybe so, uh, some of his pals will be coming as well. <coughs> so my next trip will definitely be in April. I'll be going to go down south to Penrith, getting the train down there and meeting Andy and then I can't remember the name of the campsite. We're going to a campsite the first night and then I think we're going for a wild camp the second night. So that's April. Uh, I might sneak a, uh, I might get a, an overnighter in between then because that's a few, that's two or three weeks away. I don't know, I might sneak a trip in. I, I do actually want to go every week, every, you know, every, I say every weekend, my weekend's Monday, Tuesday. So every, you know, time I'm off, I don't want to be going wild camping all the time. I've got other things to do, like other people to see, you know, so. But I might, might be able to sneak in an overnighter before the Penrith. Right, I think that might be the last bit of footage. Well, you've seen this, I've shot, filmed enough of this bit. So, I'll see you for the next one. Cheers. A bit of snow's falling. <laughs> Scott's Wild Camper, the wild camping channel for the great outdoors.